In the first lesson, we will trace outlines for our images and we will create masks we will use later for the actual morphing. I will open up Illustrator for a few seconds to show you something. If I have a PNG image like this, I have the head prepared. I place it inside of Illustrator. I come closer. You see, this is a rough edgy PNG low quality image. It has 500 pixels of size. There is a possibility in Illustrator to trace this image use one of the presets or set it manually and then expand the image to create a vectorized image which you can use. Something very similar is possible in After Effects, not as advanced, but we only need to trace the outlines of the actual images. I select both images, my PNG images are imported to After Effects. Let me start with the YouTube sign. I'll deselect the previous one and I go to Layer, Auto Trace, and I will stay with the basic options. You have to remember that you should apply this to a new layer. I press OK. And as you can notice, a new auto trace layer has appeared and the layer has the outlines exactly traced. So now we do not only have the PNG image, we also have a vectorized pad. This is a mask and it's called mask1. Let me maybe rename it. I hit enter and call it YouTube sign. I select the mask, Control C, I press on the YouTube sign, and I Control V, Control V, paste it into both those PNGs. I select those PNGs, and I press M to reveal the masks. I change its mode to Add, and here to None, because on the head, the YouTube sign is only to help us. Now I can delete the auto traced icon and do the same for the head. Let me click on the head make it visible. By having it selected, go to Layer, Auto Trace and do the same. I have now traced the head. I press M here, I rename it to Head Mask or as you want, click on the Head Mask, click on the YouTube sign, Ctrl V, this is the Head Mask. It should be set to None because I only want to see the head on this sign and here the opposite. I paste it I place it maybe at the first, so it's easier, and here I press Add. Alright, I'm prepared. So what did I do? On the YouTube sign, I have the sign outline to Add, and the head, which will morph into, is set to None, because I only want to see those outlines. On the head PNG, it's the other way around. The head mask is set to Add, while the YouTube sign mask is set to None, because this is only our reference point which we need to see once we click on it and we will later use in the effect. This is it when it comes to the first part of what you need to do to morph between two PNG images. Now if you didn't have any troubles and you are in the same place, please continue with the next lesson and we will get the work done. I will also show you a useful effect which may help you when you are working with small PNG images in the future.